They sign up to become 501c3. As soon as you become 501c3, you are now a corporation. You are not a church. See, God creates people, and God established the church. And government, people created government, and government creates corporations. So a church that becomes 501c3 has stepped way down from where God intended them to be, and they have now become a creature of the state. It took us more than five of the past six and a half years just to get our 501c3 status. This allowed the mission that my dad had been on for the last 20 years of reaching people with the gospel through the creation message to continue despite unbelievable hardships. If I had to describe it, I, I would say it was, it was like having to fill in a hole that we ourselves were in. God allowed us not only to reach level ground, but also build a new foundation for ministry. Just two years ago, we began a new outreach called The Creation Today Show to help answer questions on science and the Bible. Paul Taylor moved his family over here from England just so that we'd have a smart-sounding British voice as part of the ministry. Our prison ministry exploded. Got no idea why that happened. We began getting uh, more opportunities to go and preach the truth, uh, even at the atheists' own rallies. <laughs> Last year, we went to the Reason Rally in Washington, D.C., and, uh, well, anyway, I'll save that for another time, but wow, great time. You know, to think last year, we received more testimony letters from around the world than any previous year. We see this as a testimony to the grace of God. And they show us that our efforts are continuing to pay off with each other. I've got some major Christian ministries that used to be close friends of mine that have blackballed me and ostracized me because uh, I've discovered there's a mirror here and I'm seeing both sides and say, wait a minute now, I think I'm going to be I'm going to be accountable to God. That's right. And because I do not uh, have a 501c3 corporation, I do not uh, uh, fill out any income tax forms. They think, oh, Hovind's a tax. I'm not a tax radical. I'm not a tax. I'm not rebelling. That's right. I'm trying very hard to obey the law. <laughs> exactly.